So before we despair too much about TSP and before we leave it for, for greener pastures, let's take a look at the problem that gave us an issue on the, on the, uh, the greedy search, the, the local greedy algorithm. So this is the graph. And remember, it had this one very high weight edge between A and D. So let's, let's, let's write this thing out and try to write it in a way that makes sense in a geometric way. Okay, so let's, let's write, let's try to actually draw this graph to scale. Because I've just written these numbers on here, but I didn't, I didn't exactly draw it to scale. So here's, here's what I'll do. I'll say here's, here's A and D, the nodes A and D, and they're far apart, right? We're, we're claiming that the distance between these is 6C. And I can just write this as 6, right? Let's, let's just set C equal to 1, just, to, just for, for uh, concreteness. So this distance is 6. OK, so now what do I know about the distance from A to B? Well, the distance from A to B is 1. right? So this is so maybe it's not 100% to scale, uh, but we're getting, we're getting closer. right? So the distance from A to B is 1. And the distance from B to C is 1. And then our claim is that the distance from C to D is 1. So if I'm trying to draw this to scale, um, I mean, I've, I, I, I've, I've run into a problem, right? Because how, how long is one? Well, one is about this long. And so to go from C to D, you know, I'd get about that far. But the claim is that C and D are, are one unit apart. Okay, so one way to rephrase this graph is that going directly from A to D takes longer than taking the long way around through B and C. Okay, so this graph doesn't really make sense from a geometrical standpoint, at least in the sense that if we want these, these numbers on the graph, right, if we want the edge weights to correspond to physical distances uh, in a plane, this graph, this is a nonsensical graph, right? This is a, a we call this a non-Euclidean graph, right? And what makes it non-Euclidean? Uh, just the, the fact that these, these weights can't correspond to Euclidean distances, right? They can't correspond to distances in, in, a, in a Euclidean geometry. Okay, so it turns out that that's a fundamental problem. Uh, that's a fundamental reason why the TSP is, uh, is, is uh, not approximable. And if we constrain ourselves to having uh, edge weights that correspond to physical distances, um, then, then TSP suddenly magically becomes approximable. Like we can use that fact to argue that certain algorithms are approximation algorithms for TSP. Okay, so, so what do we need to do to constrain the graphs? Well, we want to make the graphs make sense. Graphs that make sense. And I'm not saying that, that the above graph can't make sense for any application. I'm just saying that like our main motivating idea here is that you know the nodes are cities, right, on a map, and distances on maps can't do this, right? These numbers can't be distances on a map. So we're going we're gonna to constrain ourselves to graphs that make sense geometrically. And we'll call these Euclidean graphs. OK, so Euclidean graphs satisfy two properties. So the first property is they, their distances, or the, the edge weights, satisfy the triangle inequality triangle inequality. OK, so suppose I have three nodes, uh, i, j, and k. i, j, and k. What the triangle inequality says is that if I, if I go from i to k uh, directly, so if I look at the distance where d here corresponds to the distance, so if I go, if I go directly from i to k, that can't be slower, or that can't be a longer distance than if I stop at j on the way. Okay, this has to be less than the distance, less than or equal to the distance from i to j, plus the distance from j to k. Okay, this is the triangle inequality, and the picture is a triangle, right? The the reason this thing works is I say let's let's call that i, let's call that k. And we're going to draw this to scale now and write this as j, right? I'm saying that the shortest distance between i and k is the straight line distance, OK? This is the triangle inequality, right? It, it can't be faster to take the long way around and to, take, to make more stops than it is to go directly. 
Okay, um, and this is this is always going to be true if the distances correspond to straight line, or if the edge weights correspond to straight line distances between points. But it's actually broader than that. It's this the triangle inequality is quite general. Uh, applies to any norm, right? Uh, uh, if you've if you've run into norms or or metrics or anything like this in math, um, but but you can always think of it as uh, these these numbers have to correspond to something like straight line distances, um, and then two we're going to require some symmetry. So we're going to require that uh, we're going to require that the distance from i to j equals the distance from j to i. Okay, so that that reversing the direction that you traverse the edge doesn't make you slow down. This one actually doesn't work quite as well on real maps because say going up a mountain takes a different amount of time than coming down the mountain. Um, but nonetheless, it's, it's, a, it's a nice approximation for, for the real world. And it, it does, if, if we're thinking that these, di that these edge weights correspond to physical distances, then of course this one makes perfect sense. So we're saying d, d i j, the distance from i to j, equals the distance from j to i. Okay, so if the if these two conditions are satisfied um, on a graph, then we call that a Euclidean graph, and we get some stuff that that works out really nicely for us. So so our first fact is the local greedy algorithm that we looked at before on Euclidean graphs is a and let me get this number right. So is a one half times the ceiling of log base two of n plus one approximation. Okay, so let's put this in context, right? So let's just plug in a number here. So suppose now we have 512 nodes, right? I'm, I'm picking 512 because it's a nice power of two. So let's let n equal 512. Then what's our approximation ratio? Well, it's one half times the ceiling of log base two of 512 plus one, which is one half times 10, which is five. Okay. So we went from having, but by restricting to Euclidean graphs, uh, we took this algorithm that had an unbounded approximation ratio before, right? This this it, it could return solutions that are as bad as you could imagine as bad as you could ever want it took that to having an approximation ratio of five okay and it's a linear time algorithm right so this is i mean five is not great but it's it's finite right it's it's now uh for any fixed n we have a finite approximation ratio um and it's you know there's there's a problem here and that's that the approximation ratio is not bounded um so you know, as the as n gets larger and larger and larger, the approximation ratio does get worse. But at least at least we have uh, we have this nice guarantee. So you know, unbounded approximation ratio, but at least finite. Okay. So let's see if we can do better. Turns out we can. We can do considerably better than this.